Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Margarita Muradova. I'm a personal stylist and wardrobe consultant from Kiev, Ukraine originally, but currently living in Portugal. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the main aesthetic or vibe for the 2022. So something that's more of an emotion of a look, an outfit and the feeling of a look. So there's four main ones and this is something that we're going to talk about today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And you're here now because I'm in Portugal, there's always seagulls running around and flying somewhere here and sometimes fighting. So it's just a part of a game if you're here in Portugal. But I actually just love the sound of nature in any way, shape or form. So it's okay for me. Hopefully it's okay for you as well. Just let me know in the comments below if it's like really disturbing, but hopefully not because I can do anything with that anyways. So the first aesthetic for the 2022 and actually partially 2023 as well, because it's never like ending in the, in the end of the year. The first one is a 2000s in all of its glory and you've seen this before and you can definitely see it now so how it manifests in terms of clothing and style it's a low waist but actually not the low waist of the 2000s per se so the low waist of the 2000s where Britney Spears hit me baby one more time low waist which is like very clingy fabric glossy and very bodycon and low waist the low waist we're talking about now is more of an oversized low waist or at least a straight silhouette low waist. So think baggy sportswear, baggy worker pants with multiple pockets, baggy sweatpants, baggy trousers, I mean like costume trousers, still baggy, oversized to give that balance to a look. And the way you'd style it is actually with something fitted up top, just not to completely swallow yourself with clothing. So the 2000s is also about a crop top, but as well styling it with something oversized on the bottom just also brings some balance into a look because modern 2000s is not necessarily a complete revival of the original 2000s and it actually is never like this. So when something is revived or if you come back as an inspiration to a specific century or a specific decade, for example, 60s, 50s, etc., what ends up happening is you still bring something new, something modern, like a new touch or angle to a look and aesthetic. So 2000s for now are not the 2000s that were actually happening when it was 2000. So 2000s is also manifest in terms of old denim looks. So again, think Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, Grammy or whatever it was, their total couples, total denim look. This is what we're going for, but in a more relaxed and modern way. So like a top and a skirt and everything is denim, think the row minimalist vibe, and then think like a shirt and a jean, wardrobe NYC vibe, this is what we're going for. And you can always balance it out with different other shapes, forms, and also materials for the look to look more modern. And the next thing you think about when you think about 2000s is something very popular now is a material nylon, especially in bags. You can definitely see this represented in Prada, of course, because for them, this is like a signature material, but also, for example, for the row in a more minimalistic way, this still looks amazing, beautiful, elegant, yet just with a touch of the 2000s sport chic. The next popular aesthetic for this year would be the 60s. And this is like my favorite one, to be honest, because this is so playful. It has a lot of color and color blocking within it. Like an aesthetic that we're going for is a lot of bright, cool colors mixed together. Also a lot of mini dresses, skirts, shorts. And one thing I could give an example of, like a brand, that would be a Prada show. So very short, extremely short shorts, short skirts, extremely short dresses. And all of these most of the time are A-line, so something totally 60s inspired. And this looks very minimalistic yet playful because of the length. So we're, so we're playing on the two opposite sides. So the first one being very minimalistic and the other one being playful because of the length and the shape. That's basically like a very geometric statement shape. And I love the 60s because they were the first 
decade to actually have kind of a protest within it in terms of the length of a skirt and the color, et cetera, et cetera. And it could be really modern. And obviously what you do, as we've discussed previously, you always bring something new and modern to the look. So for example, you can mix and match the mini length, but also something from the 2000s, which could be, for example, like a platform shoe from the row, for example, just to give you a visual for that. And this look, the outfit, is going to be more completed, interesting, less one-dimensional because you're trying to work with different patterns and prints and colors and shapes and styles within one look. So I suggest to actually not go completely 60s crazy and like pick an every each and every item that's 60s inspired, but actually going in the opposite direction and giving one item a statement within a look and all the other items could be either basic or from a different style which would give a look more interest and flow and ease and the next aesthetic for us for this year and part of next year as well is very feminine and bodycon like silhouette so everything bodycon is the way to go and you can definitely see this within all the fashion industry and all the influencers and all the celebrities and for example let's look at Hailey Baldwin's Hailey Bieber Hailey Road whoever she is and what's her last name because there's a lot of them so look at her looks so most of her looks are very bodycon which was not happening the year before and this is what's happening happening for a lot of celebrities nowadays and their styling as well. So what's amazing about this aesthetic as well is that could be replicated in any kind of budget that you can think of. So you could find, for example, a bodycon skirt, a bodycon dress in any kind of store. So this could be mass market like Zara, H&M. This could be middle market, which is Cos, Arquette. This could be luxury, of course. And this could be something in between. Each and every brand has something that's bodycon that's gonna work for you. And what I'd go for specifically is a bodycon in a medium or maxi length actually. So for maxi, the example I could give you is a Skims homey style, homeware style, maxi black dress, like cotton like material, which would look amazing with like a small heel or a platform shoe. So we, we're gonna mix these two aesthetics as well in this look specifically. And bodycon is just beautiful. And it, if you're feeling a little bit conscious in terms of wearing something bodycon, just make sure that the item you're picking is in a thicker material so it's going to hold you up a bit more and shape your body a little bit more than like a very thin cotton dress and the last vibe for the 2022 which is a really exciting vibe actually and this is the first time that it's come to the surface over the last uh, 10 years i'd say is a futuristic vibe and it definitely looks like something you would see partially in a star trek star wars even the dune the modern dune so it's really out of this world aesthetic with unusual crazy materials mixed into the look it's all about very like transparent almost airy materials plastics crazy unusual shapes and a lot of geometry to your look and also it's about unisex 100% so futuristic fashion basically is a fashion of someone being on a spaceship etc etc so someone being in a spaceship is someone wearing a very uniform very unisex look so for men and for women it's going to be the same so this is the same for the futuristic vibe so one could wear a cat suit with like a plastic heel shoe and this could be worn by men or women one could wear something which is with a different interesting shape and the example I'll give for you is a Coperni show which is like a blazer but then again there's some uniqueness and interesting flowy shape to that blazer in something cosmic like in a sense if you know what I mean I hope you know what I mean when I'm talking about this I'll give you as many visuals as I can say as I can give you because like there's a specific aesthetic in my mind but I'm not sure I'm very verbal in terms of explaining it perfectly specifically in English because this is not my first language so just excuse me if something is not totally clear if I'm trying to explain it to you and I feel like the more I try to explain the less understandable it becomes so just bear with me so 
For me, futuristic vibe is definitely a very different and interesting and new aesthetic and definitely what the approach I'd advise to go for for working with this specific aesthetic is actually also balancing it out with some basics and some other aesthetics. So for example, something could be very romantic and something could be futuristic or something could be from the 60s like a skirt, a mini skirt, and then a more transparent, plasticky, futuristic top in a sense. So in this way, you'll have a more interesting, completed, not one-dimensional, beautiful look on you. And I hope you like these aesthetics and let me know in the comments below which one of the aesthetics you would be going for or you are already going for. And hit subscribe button and thumbs up if you like this video and maybe you're a newbie and this is the first video you've watched in this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!